Mike Owens here with tonight's Prevellum Liverpool headline of Peter McGrail after the fifth round stoppage. Peter, how, how are you feeling after that after that performance? Yeah, made up, you know, Mike. It was a, it was a good night. That it's a, it was a step up. It was my first fight in six months against a tough tough season in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? It's been in there with, with a few alright kids. Went the distance and that with Cash Farouk. It's a, it's a good win for me. That it's a good win on my resume in my fifth fight. As I said, headline in the show. All the family was there. P people who was there. We probably never even bought tickets off me. Yeah, everyone was just behind me, and it's just what we need at certain points, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's, it's fucking good, it's great, I'm made up with it, yeah. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago about you know the prospect of main eventing. Can I ask, did main eventing fulfil your expectations? Did it feel how you expected it to feel? Yeah, do you know what? I think, uh, Mike, it's, um, it just felt like another fight, you know what I mean? But then, I don't know, like, obviously, what the commentators say, commentator saying, like main events, and then like, everyone's cheating. and. It's uh, at the end of the fight where I'm talking, stood in the ring, speaking to everyone, everyone's cheering and that. It's, uh, it's, it's just made things more special, do you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, I'm just, there's not much more I can say. I'm just over the moon, overwhelmed by the support and that. And uh, I'm just excited for the future because, really, I've probably said this loads, but it's my first headline show, it's my fifth fight. It's like the start, of, the, the start of bigger things to come, do you know what I mean? It's starting to, starting to get there and I was starting to progress and, it's fucking, uh, it's brilliant and t to be fair, I've just seen Colin walk past there, I was made up for Jazza there getting that way entirely, obviously he was on before me, yeah, it was a uh, good night for Liverpool and a good night for Liverpool boxing, as I said, I've said that a few times tonight. I stood at the back when, when you finished, when you got the knockout and I was watching, I was trying to watch your face and as I was watching your face, your eyes were here, there and everywhere, it was like you, you were struggling to gauge the sea of people that had come out for Peter McGrail, can you give me the, the emotions after that win and when you're looking around seeing all your friends and family after what you've just accomplished? Ah, yeah, it was boss because, uh, as I said, he, he was a bit of a step up him and it was, I wouldn't say it was a tough fight, do you know what I mean? I knew I was levels above the kid, but on paper it was my me, me, me toughest fight to date, but I've, my family have been there every step of the way, Mike. Like, they've been all over the world when I was an amateur, do you know what I mean? The Youth Olympic Games, World Championships, European Championships, even when I was a kid, a schoolboy, all over England, Ireland, all over England, Scotland and Wales, you know what I mean? They're with me every step of the way and things are getting better and better, the, like the, the level of what I'm doing is getting better and better and I'm headlining shows now as a professional, do you know what I mean? It's not just like winning a schoolboy title, it's everything's just getting better and better, bigger and bigger. I Joe's there alongside me, getting winning, he's getting valuable, valuable experience. I, I, I just, he's still a teenager, do you know what I mean? I, sometimes I just look, look at him and speak to him and just think, fucking hell, he's only 19, do you know what I mean? He's, 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 it's just mad like to think like that he's 19 yeah, and, and doing what he's doing, it's fucking I'm proper proud of him. And, with me, mum and dad must be fucking proud of us too. It's it's, uh, it's good times for us, yeah. When Joe was in the ring, I was having a little look, I was having a little look at you ringside and your emotions. Yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah. I don't think I could have been as cool as you were when I, if I was watching my little brother in the ring. Can you talk yeah. me through the emotions, especially after the yeah. adversity you had to go through? Yeah, nah, he, um Obviously, he's come out. He's fucking fighting the kid up, fighting the kid up to fucking eating him, fighting the jab, boom, left hooks up, well that way, left hooks over the top, lead hooks. Just eating him with everything. Do you know what I mean? Two rounds and he comes out for the third round and he's just not throwing his right and him. Sort of like I think a few of us I've got on Twitter, you know what I mean? He must have done something to us right there. And um I wouldn't say I got nervous and scared, but obviously he's only got one hand. The, the kid, even though his records are fucking one twenty lost thirty six, he was he was well better than his record, him, do you know what I mean? Well, well better than his record, he's just very, very tough. Then make an argument, that kid that I've just boxed there, that he, he me and our job was watching them today. Espino was at I box first. Yeah. The kid I box, they, they had they had like a six, six round war. Me and I were watching it, laughing our heads off. It was fucking a good fight to watch. You know what I mean? Just total to throwing bombs. They made uh, both tough, no, tough, both tough. Nicker arguing. So it was a uh, very good six rounds for Ajo, and uh, he gained valuable experience in there tonight. Yeah, and just fucking just proud of him and looking forward to nailing some food in him because we've been eating rations this week. Lad, it's been heavy. I swear. Generally, fighters come out and they say they want to have a drink after after yeah. uh, after the tough fight. But I've seen you all this week, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago about n the the phrase nailing some heavy scrans. What is what's on the menu in an ideal world for Peter and Joe McGrail? Uh, we are now we before eleven. It's about about ten o'clock. Yeah, we're flying, lad, because that German Donna there, I think it shuts at eleven. So I haven't had one of them for time. I wanted to do it after my last fight, but I think. I think I boxed a bit later when it was in the echo last time, so I think I'll, I'll be in the German Donner up pretty soon. Let that settle, go and see everyone. We're all going to only feels and horses, but uh, see everyone for a bit. Once that's settled, I'll probably be at Chinatown up, but uh, can't go too much because I think I'm out again in December, so I won't be, uh, well, definitely won't be drinking like tonight just been nailing pure scran <laughs> he's still in the lead though isn't he still got that one, one extra victory over is the competitiveness coming in I know you've had a great yeah, night but yeah. is the competitiveness coming in nah there's no competitiveness you know what I mean I'm, fucking just, I'm just proud of him it's, it's, just, it's your brother innit you fucking love him I'd, I'd fucking 
I'd be fucking proud of him if he'd done ten times better than what I'd done, and he'd be proud of me if I'd done ten times better than what he'd done. There's, there's never no like spiteful thoughts against you. There's never no jealousy, apart from obviously if there's a game of table tennis or snooker on the line, like, then we wind each other up to fuck. But when it comes to boxing and that like that, fucking, I'm just made up when he wins and that because I know how hard we train. Do you know what I mean? I, we, I, we're with each other non-stop, so I know how hard he trains, lives the life. I know when, when like. You know what I mean? When we're starving, lad, and we'd we love to just go the chippies, you know what I mean? The yeah. sacrifices that we make, and it's not just us. I just obviously I see our job doing it. It's every fighter who's boxed tonight, you know what I mean? Every fighter in my gym, every every most boxers, you know what I mean? Everyone, we all make sacrifices, and, and it's an hard life. So I think that's why there's all always mutual respect between between fighters, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just great when I'm watching him doing what he's doing, and it's uh, I said before in a different interview there, it's the future's looking good for us, and we're hopefully. All of us that are boxed tonight, and plus me and our Joe, we're going to bring some some big nights to Liverpool over the next few years, and hopefully we're bringing soon enough we're all bringing title fights. I know I'm going to be, and I know that a few of the lads won't be far behind. You mentioned there as well, just one final question, you mentioned the, the plan to get out before the end of the year. Yeah. In an ideal world, what does, how do you close out 2022? What's the, what's the plan? Yeah, listen, just, just another fight. If, the, if, if anyone can get me a title fight, I believe I'm ready for that. Like I know that didn't go to 10 rounds, it was scheduled for 10 rounds, but... Um, I believe I'm ready for titles. It's, uh, as I said, it's down to my team. I, I, I can't really plan my career. Mm. I could start trying to ask and plan my career, but I just I just believe that uh, my team now, me, my, coach, my coaches, Paul and Auntie, they're going to pick me the right opponents, get the right step-ups for me, guide me in the right direction. And yeah, so I just leave it down to them. All I can do is make sure that I eat, sleep, train well, and um, live the life. Make sure I'm 100% when I get in the ring. And, that's what I'm doing at the moment, and, and the performances are, and the performances and the wins are showing that. So yeah, times are good, Mike. Times are good. <laughs> of course they are. And well, I better let you go because you're gonna get you out of here before 11 p.m. for that yeah. Donna kebab. So congratulate, oh, congratulations yeah. on the win. Enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing yeah. you back in action soon. Thank you very much, lad. Sweet. Thank you.